Hi, so this video will continue to talk about how to deal with this pincer. I have said that after this pincer, the best choice for AI would be something like the attach. But actually, the double approach is also a considerable choice. And the double approach is actually very common. Let's see why. Because here, white may not play the kick and play this pincer. And black not only have the choice of playing the free free invasion, the double approach would also be a good choice. Then after the double approach, white could play the kick. And black usually this extension would be the best choice because after all, we don't want to let white to get a tiger mouth shape. So black will extend. And then this became the same thing that after the kick, the extend, white play the pincer, and black play the double approach. This is the same thing. So this variation would actually be common. Even in professional games, I have seen this. And normally we think that this exchange, white one and two, would not be good when black play the double approach. White usually would play the attach on this side or the either side. But white would not play this kick, helping black to escape. So normally this exchange is not good, but the win rates are just similar, so it's not wrong anyway. We need to know how to deal with it. And here the only response for white would be this, very makes sense. And black would play the hane and extend. Here white would play this cornet. Why white play the cornet here, but not something here? Because this cornet limits the liberties of the black stones. And if white try to block here, the cut would be strong. This cut would be strong. So white cornet. And now there are many choices for the black. Let's talk about the wrong choice. The knight move here. This is a wrong choice. You may think this seems to be very common. Why? Because when black play this and white play the attach, extend black play this, black will play the knight move. This is the best move. However, what is the difference? Can you notice? The liberties is not the same. Now, these two do not have liberty, so after white cut, this will become a very hard job for the black. Black may hit and extend trying to capture the two white stone, but white could hit and play the bang. Now, if black block, white could capture the two black stone. If black play this, then the stone will be divided. Black still have a choice play this ban. However, white could play this push, diagonal move, and this cram. If black play this, white could capture all the black stone. Two liberties, three liberties. We got one, two, three. White have three liberties. So white is going to win the capturing race. If black play this, White hit and extend. Black have a Tetsuji to save the black stone, which is the cut. White need to hit. And now finally black could win the capturing race and to capture these three white stones. But at what cost? White become a very very strong shape and get a center. These two black stones equals to that. And this final result is very bad for the black stone. So when the liberties is not enough, the knight move is not a choice. Black could only try to play here. And after white's hane, black could also get the hane. Then white will play the cut and black hit. Now, AI suggests black to play the cornet. 
if Black played this, yeah, I think white is up slightly better. So Black want to connect here. If white play the ban, and Black do not need to play here. After this, white will play a double honey, Black hits and connect. Then white play this move to control the two black stone. And AI think this is a fair choice for both sides. Currently, black could play elsewhere because white could not escape these two white stone. If white tried to escape, black could play the honey. The ladder is not available now because black could just play the ladder. The claim would be an interesting choice, but Black could just connect, and we found that the whites could not escape. However, we need to be careful that this area would have a lot of sand here. So in the future, Black play one more stone to capture these two white stone would be a fake and valuable move. Otherwise, there are many Tetsuji that could be used by the white. For example, the peep would also be some sacrifice that could utilize by the white. But as a whole, I also like the white more. But AI hey, think this is a fair choice for both sides. Here, Black may also wants to play the jump. But the jump would lead to very complicated variation. And I see a professional game yesterday that have played the same variation. Let's see. This is, this is a game or between Yamashita Keigo and Shibano Toramaru. Uh, this is the Japanese Kise League S. And they played this variation at this corner. You see? So this is actually quite common. Here, black player double approach. And white choose to play this diagonal move and attach. So even for the professional nine down, they try to use this variation. And after this, black play this jump. And lead to a very complicated fight. What happened here is that Black and white trying to play the capturing race at the corner. You can see black only have 3 liberties and white have 4 liberties. So locally, seems all the black stones will be captured. But black have Tetsuji, which is the double Hane. And after the double Hane, black could play the Hane at the corner. And naturally black is going to win the capturing race. But still, why try to play a tiger mouth here? This tiger mouth is asking for starting a call. If black play elsewhere, white could start a call. So this corner would lead to very complicated calculation and fight. Let's back to the Josaki lecture. Here, white will push and then cut. Then you can see just now the AI have drunk that. Black have two choices, the connect here or the band here. Let's talk about the band first. After black play this, white play this. And then black play this squeeze, white play this extension. In the example just now, white play this Tetsuji. But if white play this Tetsuji, actually this would be a losing move because black could capture the corner. Shibano Tolamalu just wants to divide the two black stones. According to AI, it should be better to play the extension first, not to lose the stone at the corner. And after this, black will play this knight move. As the ladder is good for the black, this is a very complicated fight. There is a cut, the corner is not yet lift. And these two stones is being divided, but these two black stones and these two black stones is also not connected together. All the groups are divided by each other. It's very complicated. 
the connection would be slightly easier. White would exchange this move to prevent black to play the honey or play this. After the exchange, white play the extension. This time, black lifted the corner, but all the groups outside is in a fight. So the jump is the most efficient move because it's looking for this D3 or this E2 honey, looking for the defect of the shape. However, because there are too many cuts for the black, so this would lead to a very complicated fight. If black do not want very complicated fight, black will play this extension. And no matter what, if black play the double approach, the knight move approach, after this attack, white could divide the black stone. So this is a choice. If black think the left hand side is more valuable, then yeah, it makes sense that black choose this double approach. But if black think the right hand side is more important. Black should play this attach. This attach makes more sense than this double approach if black think the right hand side is important. But if the black think the left hand side is important, then the double approach makes sense. Not only black have the choice of this, black could also choose this. Here, white have two choices. The first one is play the diagonal move. And then black will play the honey, hit, and capture. I personally like the white. But AI think black is good, at least not bad. And I think this variation is very interesting because it requires the understanding of the middle game and the your set a lot. There is a call here. And black could further start a call here. This call is very, very big, but not very, very big in the opening stage, very, very big in the later stage. How both sides would manage this call would be a very difficult question in the later stage of the game. If whites don't connect this, but connect this, then after black cut, this fight should be better for the black. So. Yeah, white should play this and play the exchange. But white also have another choice. Play this. Then black jump. Now, white may want to cut off the black zones by this diagonal move. And cut. But black extend and play the diagonal move. Here. If the whites want to attack the white black first, there is an attach. And we cheat. Now, if whites play this extension, then this will become a uh, Oyo Toshi. So, whites need to play here. Black could just play the tiger mouth and whites extend. If white don't extend, then this Hane would kill the white stone. So, whites extend, then black could easily escape. Maybe playing a higher position could better attack the free white stones. Then this fight is much better for the black. It should be better for white to protect the corner to prevent this attack because the attack is too valuable. But then black could play at the center first. This fight is slightly better for the black. Whites do not have any target to attack. So this cut is not very severe for the black. AI suggests that if white want to play somewhere nearby, white may consider this move. This move trying to get better efficiency. If black play the jump, white protect the corner and black play this. Then this move creates some defect for their whole black group. AI like to play some invasion inside the enemy stones to create some defect in the future white may escape 
whites do not afraid black to play some more move to capture the whole white stone because that would make the whole black group become inefficient. By sacrificing one stone, black need to play more move to capture this. But if black don't play more move to capture this, it's available for whites to escape in the future. Of course, actually, this is still a fair choice for both sides. But here, AI would suggest black to play something like this. To sacrifice this stone. Then black could get a stronger influence because this would become a center in the future and the black becomes stronger. And yeah, I think this is more efficient. If whites don't play this diagonal move but play this attach, then black could still sacrifice the stone by this push and cut. Then whites play the honey. Now it is important that Black should play this band first. If black hit and band, white could play the honey. So black should play this first. White could not play the honey because black could hit and capture. White could only play here, then black could hit, wedge, and play here. sacrifice the three stones and get a strong influence. This result would be good for black. Because if black get a strong influence here, the invasion here would be stronger. But anyway, this would be some variations if black try to play this double high approach. This move looks something between the attach and the double approach. I think this high approach is a flexible move, asking for a white response because black could get what he wants more easily by attach if black want to get the influence or by the double approach if black want to get the edge. But this move is more flexible, does not have very clear intention but also would not lead to bad result. And lastly, black could also try this move. But actually, this is not a good move, because white have many choices. We don't want to allow white to have choices. So although this move is a choice of AI, I don't think it is a good choice for human. Here, there are many choices for white. For example, this cut. Although the cut may not be very good, because black could cut here, and the fight may not be very good for the white. But we don't know, maybe in the future there are many stones outside, then maybe at that time you want to cut off the black. And although white could simply play a diagonal move to protect the corner, black still need to escape. Then white could have a center, maybe play something else, or this move would also be a big move. But why? I don't suggest this move. The Biggest reason is that whites have this move. If black play the honey, this honey looks very normal. But then actually it's just a return of sequence. That means black just become the night move approach and then white attach, black honey, white extend. This is just reverse of sequence. And if black don't play this honey, black play this honey. This would be a better choice for the white because whites get a lot of territories and this move is in a good position that limiting the development of this influence. So the best choice for black would be this honey. And so if at last it will return to the night move approach, then why not choose the night move approach at first? Here you are offering choice for the white. White may choose to play the diagonal move, the divide, and other kinds of choice, maybe this too. This is also a variable. When we play golf, we don't want to offer choices for our opponent. So I think this move is not a very good choice. I think at last, if you want to get the influence, you may play the attach. If you want to get the edge, you may play this. If you 
don't sure what to get. You just want to play something else and something more flexible. Then you could choose this. And this would all lead to some fair result for both sides. After we have AI, one difference is that we should not try to get a big advantage by some check move in the opening because we could know the answer very easily through AI and the check move would not work twice. The key is the fight in the middle game. But before we get into it, the middle game, we need to know how not to lose in the opening stage. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.